We're clear in the British government that it was the Assad regime uh, that carried out this chemical attack, large-scale chemical attack, last Wednesday that has led to the deaths, the agonizing deaths of so many hundreds of people, including tragically so many children. All of the evidence points in that direction, in that one direction. The eyewitness accounts, uh, the fact this area was under bombardment uh, by the regime forces at the time that the chemical attack took place. It, it all points in that direction to the responsibility of the regime. And of course, this is a regime that possesses chemical weapons stockpiles and has used chemical weapons in the past, including on, on a smaller scale over the last year. If the regime believed somebody else had carried out this attack, then they would have given access to the UN inspectors several days ago. It was last Wednesday night that we and other countries called for that to the United Nations Security Council. They've refused that up till now. They have continued to bombard with artillery the areas concerned east of Damascus, which of course may have destroyed some of the evidence. So we have to be realistic now about what the UN team can achieve. Uh, they will no doubt work hard at it, uh, but the fact is that much of the evidence could have been destroyed by that artillery bombardment. Other evidence could have become degraded over the last few days, and other evidence could have been tampered with. So we have to recognize that it is evidence, some of which could by now have become compromised. We cannot in the 21st century allow the idea that chemical weapons can be used with impunity, that people can be killed in this way and that there are no consequences for it. And so we believe it's very important that there is a strong response and that dictators, whether they are Assad or other people who might slaughter their own people or attack the people of any other country, know that the use of chemical weapons is to cross a line and that the world will respond when that line is crossed.